An update on a tragic story there out of the Pacific Northwest. The body of a woman last seen two weeks ago at a Seattle Mariners game has been found. For more on this, we want to go now to Fox 13 Seattle reporter Nikki Torres in the field. Uh, Nikki, thanks for being with us. Uh, we've been reporting on this uh, several times here on Live Now, and this is a very, very tragic, sad update to this. Uh, what led medical examiners to determine this was that body? Well, so not only did they confirm that that body is Leticia Martinez, the body that was found in Renton, Washington earlier this week, they also revealed that she died from asphyxia, uh, asphyxia from strangulation. And you'll remember when we were talking about this story just weeks ago, they uh, revealed that Gitchell actually kidnapped her son and he tried to strangle him as well. And that was before he was able to escape. We were able to talk to Leticia's brother this afternoon, just shortly after he heard the news. And here's what he had to say. So we could finally, you know, get the pieces back together and hopefully have some closure with our family. The family of Leticia Martinez never stopped looking. Martinez's brother Ricardo telling us this afternoon, not once did they lose hope. Still in a state of a kind of a fog. And then when I got the, um, the news, I, I kind of felt more, um, more at peace a little bit because we had found her. Police finding her body is a step towards closure, but they want more for their loved one. Well, I just wanted to see the, the person who did this um, um, get some justice for my sister and um, my nephew. This memorial sits outside Martinez's home in White Center. Ricardo says his sister was beloved in her community. He boasts how giving and loving his sister was, and that is how they will always remember her. She's going to be in our hearts, and I just still she's still with us right now. So. The King County Prosecutor's Office said today that they are going to amend charges for Gitchell. Next week, they are planning to add second-degree murder charges on top of what he is already facing. Andrew, back to you. All right, Nikki, thanks so much for bringing that to us. Uh, a really, really sad culmination to this story uh, that really had transfixed uh, the community there. And we'll talk to you again if there are any more updates. Thanks so much.